previous class we had discussed how to find the angle between two intersecting lines using their equations okay today our topic is about how to find the angle between two intersecting lines using their slopes suppose the equations are not given only slopes are given then what is the formula for finding angle between two intersecting lines using their slopes already the formula already we discussed in the previous class now today we will discuss how to derive that formula okay so here two lines are given so this is line l1 and this is line l2 these two lines are intersecting each other so this is the acute angle formed by these two lines okay the slope of this line is m1 and the slope of this line is m2 then what is the formula for finding angle between two intersecting lines okay as yes. tan theta tan theta is equal to mod m1 minus m2 by 1 plus m1 m2 so this is the formula that we had already discussed in the previous class okay about angle between two intersecting lines now today we will discuss how to derive this formula okay for that we have to take the coordinate axis okay so this is the coordinate axis x axis y axis together can be called as coordinate axis okay i am drawing a line like this and the line l2 so you take this line as l1 and you like take you take this side as l2 so this l1 makes an angle theta 1 take it as theta 1 l1 making an angle theta 1 on the x axis l2 makes an angle theta 2 on x axis in anti clockwise direction okay then what is the slope of l1 yes actually what is the slope tan of angle made by the line on x axis in anti clockwise direction so this is the line making an angle theta 1 on x axis in anti clockwise direction so you take this as you take this slope as m1 for l1 the slope is m1 which is equal to tan of theta 1 tan of l1 making an angle on x axis is theta 1 in anti clockwise direction so you l2 what is the slope of l2 yes you take it as m2 because slope is denoted with m so for this one m1 for this one you take it as m2 so what is m2 yes tan theta 2 <coughs> theta 2 is the angle made by the line on x axis in anti clockwise direction so theta so here in between these two lines you take an angle theta s so that is the required angle okay that which we are supposed to derive okay now first you take this one so these two angles so this forms a triangle isn't it this is a triangle and this is the exterior angle okay there is a property on this exterior angle what is it okay related to exterior angle of a triangle if any side is produced the exterior angle of the triangle is equal to sum of non adjacent interior angles because this is an adjacent angle okay that was ignored remaining to our non adjacent angles so sum of these two angles simply you say the sum of interior opposite angles of that angle so theta 1 theta 1 is equal to theta plus theta 2 exterior angle of a triangle is equal to sum of two non adjacent that is this is an adjacent angle so these two are 
non adjacent angles sum of those two angles okay that is the property of exterior property of triangle exterior angle property of triangle okay now here theta plus theta 2 is equal to theta 1 make theta as subject theta is equal to theta 1 minus theta 2 theta is equal to theta 1 minus theta 2 theta 2 take it to other side of the equal design becomes theta 1 minus theta 2 now taking tan on both sides tan theta is equal to tan theta 1 minus theta 2 okay so there is one identity what is it tan a minus b tan a minus b is equal to tan a minus tan b by 1 plus tan a tan b isn't it okay according to that how do you write this as tan theta 1 minus tan theta 2 by 1 plus tan theta 1 theta 2 okay so again tan theta is equal to tan theta 1 is a thing but m1 okay m1 so substitute in place of tan theta 1 as m1 m1 minus tan theta 2 is equal to m2 m2 by 1 plus m1 m2 we will take modulus because this lies on first quadrant in first quadrant all the trigonometric ratios are positive suppose if you first suppose if you get any negative value to convert it into positive we have to take modulus so finally theta is equal to tan inverse mod m1 minus m2 by 1 plus m1 m2 so this is how we have to derive okay this is how we have to derive the formula for finding angle between two intersecting lines using their slopes okay hope you understood okay thank you very much for watching this video keep subscribing to be able to do this thank you